Happy Wild Eye Wednesday. I'm Stephen Bloodworth, and this is my review of Snuff, a documentary about killing on camera directed by Pon Von Stolzl and released on DVD by Wild Eye Releasing. So we come to another Wild Eye releasing, and I decided to go through my collection and find one that I believe not a lot of people know of that happens to be one of my favorite Wild Eye releases of all time. For anybody that knows me knows that I am a huge fan of shockumentaries and pseudo snuff films. For the longest time, and still today, there are very few documentaries on snuff films out there. But then in 2015, Wild Eye came along to release this. This is Snuff, a documentary about killing on camera. If you're a fan of this stuff, this documentary pretty much has everything that you would want and more. As always guys, if you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for all of my latest videos posted every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So being that this is a documentary, there really isn't a plot to it. The whole premise of this is debunking or talking about what exactly is a snuff film. There's people that claim that it doesn't exist. There's people that truly believe snuff films are out there and are readily available. We hear from several different perspectives, including filmmakers, film critics, law enforcement, college professors, etc. They talk about snuff films, they talk about the idea of what a snuff film really is, kind of giving their two cents on do they exist, are they real, are they just a myth, and also debunking what many people consider to be snuff films, such as Faces of Death, for example. And I know a lot of people are sick of hearing people consider Faces of Death or Traces of Death to be snuff films, but it's kind of necessary in these documentaries because not a lot of people know the difference, so it's up to the experts to explain why Faces of Death, etc. are not snuff films. And it also talks about several horror films that have caused controversy throughout the years ever since they were made, including Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, and probably most notoriously, Snuff. So that's really where I'm going to leave things off. It's broken up into a couple different chapters. Uh, so now let's get into my overall thoughts on Snuff, a documentary about killing on camera. I am a huge fan of documentaries, especially horror documentaries, and when I heard that there was going to be a documentary on snuff films, I was extremely ecstatic. There doesn't exist many of these documentaries. Besides this one, the only real one that I could think of is The Dark Side of Porn from the BBC. I wish, especially in today's day with all the mixtapes and bullcrap like that, they would do an updated documentary. But for right now, this is the one to get. It is a little outdated, yes, it's from 2015, but if there was to be an updated version of this, or maybe an entirely new film, I feel that many people would really love it. The people they brought on to be interviewed in this documentary are phenomenal and full of knowledge that I didn't even know about. I liked hearing these people's opinions on snuff films going into talking about other films of how they cause controversy, and even crossing snuff and porn together, claiming that the porn industry has some blame for snuff films. That just doesn't make any sense to me, but interesting idea when you think about it. For a rating, I'm definitely going to give Snuff a documentary about killing on camera a solid go check it out now. Normally, I would say if you want to check it out, go to wildeyereleasing.com, but unfortunately, this DVD is long out of print. But that shouldn't stop you from heading on over to wildeyereleasing.com and checking out all their titles, past, present, and future. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this review. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of my latest videos posted every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to stay posted on what I'm doing behind the scenes of making these videos. Before you click off this video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below saying if you've seen this film, what do you think of it? and also some suggestions for other films you would like me to cover for future Wild Eye Wednesdays. Until the next Wild Eye Wednesday, take care, and stay scared.